and at stake is a chance for Henry Cooper to fight for Patterson. If tonight he can beat Zora Foley, the man from Arizona, the man that America claims is the legitimate challenger to Floyd Patterson. It's Cooper on the left. He's about two inches taller, this blonde man from Bellingham in Kent. Two inches taller, but he's giving away nine and a half pounds to Zora Foley. Foley not very tall, but he's massively built. Well muscled, particularly around the arms and legs. But in this first round, it looks very much as though Foley is, in fact, a worthy contender for the uh, world heavyweight title because he's moving fast and he's moving sharply. And he's beating Cooper to the punch with the left hand. Watch those stinging left shots and those beautiful full-out rights from Zora Foley. It's Cooper a little bit out of distance with the left hand. Foley looks really good and classy in the opening stages of this contest. And Foley obviously has heard about Cooper's left hook because you'll notice that always he's moving around to his own left hand. He's edging away to the left to keep away from Cooper's left hand. And he's keeping plenty of distance between himself except when he chooses to go in. He's not letting Cooper really get to work with the left hook or the left jab. Foley very clever at tying his man up inside and he comes out best in these clinches. And here's Cooper back to his corner, and we're all saying at the ringside now, has Cooper bitten off more than he can chew? And they come out to the third. Cooper on the right, taller, blonde. Worried possibly about the left eye, because it's the left eye that invariably gets cut when he fights. And Polly knows this, and he's trying to cut that right eye, that left eye. Do you see how he put that right across there? Cooper must try and protect this left eye of his because it really is vulnerable. And once that goes, it's a terrible handicap against the man of Foley's class. Nice left counter from Henry Cooper, one of the few good punches so far that he's put in in this third round. Whenever he gets the chance, Foley is stabbing away at Cooper's left eye. And there's a punch, and that punch opens Cooper's left eye. It's bleeding now. It's bleeding above and below. In this third round, four good rights from Foley, and Cooper is on the floor. He's on one knee. He's not badly hurt, but he's dazed. He's taking a rest. He comes up at eight, and Cooper is in trouble, bleeding from above and below the eye. He's got to watch Foley's right. Four of those went in that time, and the last one put Cooper down. Cooper at bay, is a picture of a man at bay, the Englishman in desperate trouble as Foley comes forward. But at this crucial stage of the fight, when Foley should be going all out, look at this American, the man they say is number two in the world. He's not, he's not really got the killer instinct. He's not going to Cooper and really punishing him as he should be. He's got the chance to win in this third round, but he's not throwing it up. Well, there's the end of the third, and you can see that Cooper was let right off the hook. Foley almost had him at his mercy, and then let him go. It's been amazing the way that Foley has faded out in this fight, because he made such a promising start, and he really has tailed off now. He's not half the man he was. For a man who's had twice the experience of Cooper and has met some very tough opponents, and has beaten Nino Valdez, the scourge of English heavyweights. Foley is at the moment a disappointment. But not a disappointment for Cooper, because Cooper now is really getting on top. And although I don't make him uh, in front yet, that lead is really being narrowed right down. And now we're in the ninth round. And at the beginning of this round, I only made Foley a quarter of a point ahead. So Henry Cooper is right in the fight with a chance to win, and the whole of Wembley knows it. Cooper being pushed to the ropes there more than a punch, but Cooper still Im impressively jabbing away with the left hand at every opportunity, poking it all the time. It's not into, into Polly's face. Polly gets a warning for rubbing his head up against Cooper's eye, and Cooper's eye now, which has been terribly well patched up by his corner, has begun to bleed quite copiously again as Polly rubs his head against it in the clinches. But Cooper is undismayed and undisturbed 
He's boxing the right way. He's outboxing and outjabbing Zora Foley, the number two in the world. Beautiful left hands all the time to Foley's face. Not much variety about it, but you don't need variety if you're doing well with one particular punch. And Henry Cooper is doing well with his left jab. Probably didn't hear the bell because there's so much noise being made here at Wembley and he wants to carry on the fight against Zora Foley. They come out for the tenth now and I've got them exactly level on points. It's all on the last round and Wembley Pool, 10,000 people here in Wembley Pool know that it's everything depends on the last round and they're cheering Cooper to go in now. This is the last round. Here's the chance coming now for him to fight Floyd Patterson. If he can win this round, he's probably won the fight, and they want Cooper to go in now. Never mind about the cut eye. Never mind about Zora Foley's right hand. Go in, Cooper. Go in and win. Cooper with his back to us. Still jabbing away with the left hand, giving it everything he's got. Look at that tame left lead from Foley. He hasn't got much spirit left, but Cooper has. Cooper carrying the fight here, pushing Foley to the ropes above it. People are going mad with excitement all around me and behind me. Standing toe to toe now, Henry Cooper is there. Foley, look at this effort he's putting in at the finish here. That cloud of smoke coming up over the ring, it's almost as though explosions are taking place in the ring, and they are, because Cooper now doesn't care about anything, he just wants to win. And he's standing there absolutely toe to toe, he's going to slug it out to the final bell. And there is the final bell, and Henry Cooper has won! He's won it on that last desperate round, Henry Cooper wins and gets his chance to fight Floyd Patterson for the world title.